it's always a good feeling when buzzards are just hovering around your project. Just nature's sign of death, swooping around, which you're pouring all your time and money into. I've been working on the boat every day for the past week and a half, from early in the morning till after dark, and I'm starting to realize why so many people encourage me to get the boat insured and then light it on fire. Now, I completely knew what I was signing myself up for when I got this boat. Whenever you spend $3,000 on a houseboat, you have to know from the get, it's not gonna be in the best condition. I expected to have a couple leaks. I expected to have to change the motor. But what I didn't expect, let me just show you. I guess we could start by addressing the window situation. The scary thing is that we haven't even finished removing everything from this boat. There's a lot of things that need to happen to make sure this boat is seaworthy. So when it came to buying a houseboat, the criteria of this purchase was pretty simple. I wanted a boat that was short enough and narrow enough to fit on a trailer and be able to travel across the United States. The second thing I wanted in the boat was a lot of windows. And somehow, whoever designed this houseboat created a boat that's 24 foot long, eight foot wide, and has 13 windows. That is most definitely more windows than my house. Now, don't get me wrong, 13 windows is awesome, especially for somebody like me who gets a little queasy on the water, which we will address whenever we begin camping in this thing for weeks at a time. <laughs> but for anybody looking to have a comfortable experience while you're camping in a houseboat, I think windows is a top priority. Nobody wants to be spending weeks at a time in some creepy dungeon on the water. Well, now while these windows are a super awesome asset of this boat, they're also the number one reason the boat is in a worse condition than I thought. When I bought this boat, I was under the impression that the air conditioner was the reason the boat was rotting on the inside. A lot of times these air conditioners will get clogged up and they'll leak water into the boat. I was not aware that every single window was leaking massive amounts of rainwater into the floor, leaving the floor looking like my GPA when I dropped out of college. Most of the frame that is connected to these windows was leaking so bad the wood just turned to dirt. It's completely unstable, and if we were to get started on the stringers and the new floor anytime soon, we might as well flush all that work down the toilet because rain and any water that this boat touches is going to come pouring in onto the new supplies that we just bought. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want you guys to think that in any way I'm abandoning this project or pushing it off later. I'm just letting you guys know we are having a couple road bumps along the way. There's a lot that needs to be done, a lot of hard work, a lot of time, and a lot of money that's gonna go into this project, which is why I've partnered with companies like Hoosk. For those of you who don't know, Hoosk makes Japanese premium control knives. Today, they've sent me an 11 inch, 252 gram stainless steel Japanese knife. If you need a reference point, you can just think the biggest bass in Lojo's Pond. Hoosk prides itself in making a pretty dang sharp knife. It features a 38 degree angle blade edge to ensure extreme sharpness. And on the back end, you have a nice slender rustic handle. These knives are made from high quality Japanese stainless steel. So they come out of the box really sharp and they stay that way for a long time. The knives also do great if you need to open up your 100,000 subscriber plaque. One of my favorite parts of this knife is the little grip hole. Combine a good grip with a lightweight curved sharp edge, you might as well go ahead and call me the hibachi master. This thing is a beast in the kitchen, makes cutting, chopping, everything so much easier. Throw this thing on your belt, it's made for indoors, outdoors, wherever you need a knife, Hoosk is there for you. Currently, for all my viewers, Hoosk is running a 50% off discount on authentic Japanese knives. You can test any Hoosk knife for a 30-day money-back guarantee. The deal will not last long, so make sure to click on the link in the top of the description or check out the link pinned in the top of the comment section. Huge shout out to Hoosk for sponsoring today's video supporting the itty bitty and getting us a step closer to getting seaworthy. Oh, 
Here comes the hummingbird, baby. Come on. myself well welcome back to the project buddy <laughs> so when it comes to pushing the ouch <laughs> the, when it comes to pushing the windows out we're uh -huh. gonna push from the top okay get them leaning out because okay. if we push the bottom it'll just slide straight out and shatter which that one's already shattered it's but already we're trying to shatter the least amount of windows today as possible <laughs> that's the goal so the goal is today to shatter all the windows books. watch your mouth <laughs> also davy gravy drank his first energy drink before we got started today so we'll see how that goes why you look so cute in there dude god dog all right. wait 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 <laughs> no, he, he just says all right Here we go. <laughs> don't do a thing boy all right buddy start from the top just push right in there push right here yeah Oh, oh, baby! Come right out! Dang, dude! <laughs> Didn't realize you were that strong. We Dang! Everybody's loose as my shoestrings. <laughs> and this man ties his shoes more than anybody I know. <laughs> wow, that was sitting with with no nothing holding it, it didn't in. Didn't even seem like it was clamped in or nothing. <laughs> nothing, dude. Well, let me get up there before you even breathe on the second one. The ladder's sitting on about. A 35 degree angle slope. Yeah, that's how I light my ladders. This one's gonna be a little bit of a bugger. So let me get stationed. Alright. So what you're made of. Push it right here. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Got it. How about this piece of rotten wood here? What the world? This thing looks like it's hanging on by nothing. <laughs> oh. We're good. I'm trying to set them on the ground. Ah, so we can remember how they were sitting. The only problem that we're facing with most of them is the actual caulker. Nice, nice bird there. Now to get a shot nice and nice and gravied up, don't you? <laughs> Whatever they used to seal the windows has just kind of peeled off. I guess over time, it's sat there for 50 years. I'd probably be peeling too. All right, so folks, AO has gone inside to get a drill. So I am just chilling inside of this houseboat that is in renovation mode at the moment. What do you say about my boat, Gravy? <laughs> I was hopeful that the windows underneath this portico would be in pretty decent condition. And there's some definite rotted wood beneath this window, which could be a direct correlation with whatever the heck they smothered all over this wire, which they connected to this 10 foot antenna. No idea why. Maybe that's for radio calling when we're on our way to the Bahamas, huh? I guess so. You going to the Bahamas with me? Yeah, I'm going to the Bahamas, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's in there good. Oh. Oh, it's coming right out now. Yeah, there's just a little bit of liquid nail. Come on. There we go. The good news about these windows, man, is they're in really good condition. Yeah. This is about the only thing the boat has going for it, but <laughs> this one, as simple as replacing some of this rotten wood and putting some fresh caulk around it, we should be rocking and rolling. Yeah. We also have that one right there, but the top. that one definitely, oh gosh, a bug flew directly in my cornea. 
Ah, uh, that's what I get for not taking that sponsorship with those cheap sunglasses. <laughs> Frick me. Like a NASCAR pit stop, baby. <laughs> I could see you doing one So I think this window wasn't even the cause for all the water damage around it. I believe it was this vent right here. Oh my lord. My nose. But hold that towards you till I get out there. Uh, 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 Got it good? Yep, gotcha. It's a little top heavy here. Your mom. <laughs> Alright, come on with it. Alright. Slowly. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. A lot of rotten wood Solid around. Black. Nasty. Dirt and crap coming up out of it. Most of the windows are in decent condition. We're going to be able to take a knife and scrape most of this gunk out of the windows. Right. Probably replace some of the sealer. This crack right here is on the piece of glass closest to us. This crack is on the piece furthest away. So that's a bucket of manure if I've ever had one. So, I think what the initial plan is, we're gonna load these windows up, take them to the nearest hardware store. Hopefully they can replace some of these panes of glass and we can salvage most of these windows. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh! How about that sound, huh? Yeah. I swear it's that. We put in work late last night, did not go to sleep till pretty late, edited a little bit when we finished. Took about my 85th Home Depot trip to hopefully conclude this video this morning. Unfortunately, I think it's time. Oh God. Mm. Let's see. Uh, it landed upside down. I know goggles are essential, but it's like I can't see anything. That's ridiculous. Initially, the plan was to leave the bathroom exactly where it was sitting, but between the fiberglass of the bathroom and the fiberglass of the actual boat, there's not even a frame there anymore. It just completely rotted out. I mean, gone. Also, when I was with Davis yesterday, we found a spider back there that I've never seen anything like it. And I know it's still back there and it is haunting me. I think that whole back wall is warped from all the water that it was coming into contact with. I would like to keep this monstrosity of a bathroom inside of the boat, because otherwise we're gonna have to cut this thing in half to remove it. And while I wanna make this boat like epic, I would also like to keep the goofiness that makes the itty bitty, the itty bitty. As of right now, the bathroom's gonna stay if it doesn't fall through the hole of the boat. I know that spider's back there just waiting. I feel like it's gonna jump out. It reminded me of a sand spider from Iraq. For those of you who don't know, my biggest fear on this planet is spiders. I was actually bitten as a kid on my right buttock. Doesn't sound bad, but they almost had to amputate it. I'm out.
I am so on edge, man. That spider was like, the body of it was massive. Now I'm just creating a massive pile of junk for it to hide in. That way it can position itself to leap on my cankles. Which honestly, might not be that bad of a thing. Somebody say, free liposuction? Am I right? Hey, what's up, baby? I've reached this point in the project, man. I'm trying to debate whether I should just burn the boat and take an insurance check, maybe get some lottery tickets, or if I should just carry on. Lottery tickets. I would say commit insurance fraud. Okay. All right. That's all I needed. I'm kidding. That's a joke, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically just building a new boat. Yeah. It, yeah. At this point, I could have just bought a hole and been better off. <laughs> Bro, I feel like you might as well just gone and bought some wood from Home Depot and started there. Well, folks, I don't know if you can tell from here, but the boat is pretty much completely reframed. So it turns out the place that cuts round angled windows got a big job out of state and they're closed. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the windows completely in for the next, I guess it'll be a couple weeks, which kind of bites. I just... To be honest, I don't really know what is worth uploading. I don't know if you guys want two videos a week in the itty bitty of me just cutting a couple boards and throwing a couple wrenches, you know, losing everything I have, all my mental faculties, or if I need to be waiting until there's a major change in the boat and I can say, hey, look, I just laid some stringers with my wife's granddad. Come at me. You know what I'm saying? I've spent years sacrificing, you know, sleeping in the back of my truck, sleeping in motels with men that I I met on Craigslist. Just done a lot of things, seen a lot of places, and, and I've come a long ways. And I really appreciate you guys. And I want to make something worth watching. So with that said, bear with me as I figure out how to make more than one video a week. As I hire cameramen and editors and heck, I might even hire a mechanic. Who knows? I should, uh... Probably in this outro, as I'm just spiraling out of control here. Thank you guys so much for changing my life, hopping on this project with me. Never thought I'd be here, but now that we're here, I know we're going to go a pretty dang far away. That wasn't good English, but the only people left watching are my mom and probably two subscribers that fell asleep, because this outro is longer than the video itself. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.